All right, good morning, friends. We're going to start our SEL lesson. Today, we're going to talk about how it's a new year. We know it's January, so start of 2021. And sometimes what people like to do is when there's a new year, they like to set new goals. Sometimes when there's a new year, we like to think about ways that we're going to do better or new things we're going to try. So today we're going to start by watching a story called Squirrel's New Year's Resolution. A resolution is kind of like a goal, something that you say, I'm gonna do this this year, okay? So we're gonna start by watching a story and then you get to make some goals. You get to think about what do I want to do for the next half of third grade? How am I going to be my best self? What do I wanna do at home? Think about some ways that you want to grow now that it's a new year. We're going to begin by watching a story, friends on Zoom. I have shared the sound with you and let's get going. Squirrel's New Year's Resolution, written by Pat Miller, illustrated by Kathy Ember. Squirrel pinned up her brand new Nut of the Month calendar. It's January 1st, the radio said. A great day to make a resolution. Make a resolution, wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Bear might know. She went to see Bear at the Lonewood Library. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is it like making a snack? Bear laughed. <laughs> Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks, said Squirrel. What is a resolution? A resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or to help others, Bear said. When we begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution? Asked Squirrel. I did, Bear answered. I resolved to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets well. Oh no! Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought, as she hurried to Skunk's house for a visit. She forgot all about making a resolution. Skunk was sick of being sick. I'm stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. She hid at the foot of the bed. She popped up and shouted, Boo! Skunk giggled. Hide and Skunk was her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again. Boo! And again. Boo! By now, Skunk was laughing hard. Just then, Dr. Owl came by. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better, he said. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Lunch, thought Squirrel. She headed toward the Heidi Hole Diner. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. What are you doing? asked Squirrel. Turtle and I resolved to plant a garden, said Mole. But I can't find a good place to dig with all these trees. Wait here, said Squirrel. She dashed up an oak tree and looked down. She spied Wildcat Creek and on its bank, a perfect place for a garden. Squirrel scampered down and led Mole and Turtle 
through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out string for the borders of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch, said Mole. Lunch, thought Squirrel as she rushed away. She still hadn't thought of a resolution. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. He looked grumpy. What's wrong? asked Squirrel. I resolved to be less grumpy. So I'm trying to laugh more, but I can't think of anything funny. I can help you think of something funny, like why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? Well, I don't know. Why? asked Porcupine. Because she was nuts, laughed Squirrel. Porcupine laughed too. I get it. That reminds me, what's striped and bouncy? Tell me, giggled Squirrel. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. Squirrel laughed herself right off of the stool. Porcupine said, that's a good one. I had better write these down. Off he went to find paper and pencil. Squirrel felt left out. Porcupine has a resolution. So do Bear and Skunk and Mole and Turtle, she thought. I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Rabbit came to take Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special? asked Rabbit. Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. Squirrel ate her lunch special and thought hard. Just then, Skunk came in. I need a healthy lunch. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Well, Turtle and Mole came in next. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden, said Mole. Squirrel found a terrific place for it, said Turtle. Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why? Bear said, caw, caw. Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said, he was learning another language. All the animals laughed. I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. Rabbit said to Squirrel, you're doing a good job on your resolution. Well, I didn't know I had one, said Squirrel. Your actions are better than words. It looks like you resolved to help someone every day, said Rabbit. Really? asked Squirrel. I did it? I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel, shouted all the animals. It was going to be a very happy new year. If you don't put it in your desk, you're going to have to give it to me for a little while. So stick it in your desk. All right. So we just heard a very cute story about forest animals who are making a resolution. Remember, a resolution is like a promise. I promise to blank. Today, we're going to think about some goals we have for ourselves, some promises we want to make to ourselves. So you may join me on Seesaw. Click on activities, assign to class folder, light blue S-E-L. 
you will see our task. It's called New Year, New Goals. Go ahead and get that open. You should see the picture of squirrel. And it's just one slide today. Just one slide. There are four sections on slide number one. The first one I want you to point out is the new year. Our year is 2021. And it says, I can do hard things. We are still practicing social distancing. We are still practicing wearing masks. Some of us are still practicing being a virtual student at home. These are hard things, but we can do it. We can do hard things. So I want you to think about what do you promise to yourself this year? What are some things that you want to do for yourself? There are four sentence stems that may help you. One says at school, at home, I want to try, I want you thinking of three things. Something you want to try, a promise for yourself at home, and a promise for yourself at school. How are you going to be your best self in this new year? Um, Ashley, you wanted to share. Go ahead, Ashley. Um, yesterday, um, I was talking to my mom, and she was telling me that um, probably um, we're not going to wear, like the government said that we're not going to wear face masks anymore. I don't know why, and she told me, I asked her why, and she told me that, um, that, pro that it's because most people are following the rules. Yeah, sometimes people are not following what the government says to do, but we are when we're in the building. We are practicing wearing masks like you are aware of. Thanks for sharing, Ashley. All right, so you have five minutes five minutes to think of three goals for yourself and record it. Type it into the box. What's something you want to try this year? What's a promise, a resolution for yourself at home and at school? When you're done with that, you can push the green check and wait on Lexia if you're still waiting. You have five minutes. Go ahead and get to work. All right, when you are done with your three goals, your three resolutions for the year 2021, go ahead and push the green check to turn it in, please.